Leo, this is your horoscope for October 2018. The first couple of days in October, you're going to feel a very spiritually connected and very strong and you feel like it's time to take care of yourself a little bit. You feel very at ease and calm. On the 4th of October particularly, I think you'll have taken some R&R &R for yourself. If the plans are different, excuse me, if you've decided, okay, beginning of, no, no, uh, beginning of October, I'm going to work as hard as I've ever worked. I'm going to run myself into the ground and I'm going to overdo it majorly. That's not the right plan. The plan is to gently ease into the month to uh, really you've got the time to be nice to yourself here at the beginning so take that time chill relax take care of yourself and then on the fourth you're rejuvenated regenerated and you can do stuff i mean it's like i went for a meditation retreat once and when i came out of it i got so much done the week afterwards it was just like things that would usually take me four hours took me like an hour it was amazing it was really amazing on the 5th of october i've got some bad news for you unfortunately cat leo venus a planet you like the planet of love beauty and romance goes retrograde from the 5th of october <laughs> until the 16th of november and that is not good because venus is the planet of love and beauty and when it's in re retrograde, it really brings out the shadow side. So we attract partners who are really just bring out the worst in us and who, who seem to be perfect and who promise perfect lives and to be our soulmates. And then they deliver nothing except heartbreak. It's in your fourth house of family and relationships that are like family, but you've got Jupiter sitting next to it. So that mitigates and that's offsets the problem of it so family isn't going to be so affected by it but anything you initiate in terms of new relationships that's where the danger comes in so especially if you meet someone if you're set up by a friend or you meet someone at work or um, you meet someone on a dating app in any kind of capacity where it's um, something bigger than yourself where you have no control and where you kind of did the choosing but you didn't do the choosing because it's kind of being taken out of your hands and done for you those are the things that are going to hurt the most so don't let yourself if you can possibly avoid it don't throw yourself into dating as much as you usually would uh, what you can use this energy for is to really be there for family members who need you so if you've got an elderly grandparent who's not able, who needs 24 seven care and who's now in a home, go visit that person and use this energy rather than to uh, muck around with horrible relationships, which will leave you heartbroken. Go and see your grandmother in hospital and read to her. She'll be very happy about that and she'll be very grateful. So this retrograde lasts until the 16th of November. Uh, the next couple of days, you've got the moon going f through your first three houses. So it's um, in Leo, Virgo, and then in Libra. So these are really quiet days. The 9th of October is also quiet. You've got the new moon happening in Libra. I'll make separate videos on the new moon and the full moon. But what's important to know is that the new moon is in your third house of communication. Libra is elegance, beauty, being able to communicate really well, being able to create a sense of community and overcome barriers between people. So the 9th of October is the best day to put yourself in the spotlight, to go for job interviews, to present yourself. By the way, during a Venus retrograde as well, this is why it's so sad, the business that you love and you want to set up, don't set it up during a Venus retrograde. It'll mess it up. I am really not that strict when it comes to, you know, don't fly during a Mercury retrograde. Of course I'm going to fly. I'm not going to let this stop me. But last year I met someone during a Venus retrograde. It was brutal. Okay, so take this seriously. Venus retrograde is tough. On the 10th of 
October, Mercury, the communication planet, moves into Scorpio and it joins everything in your fourth house. And it stays in Scorpio until the 31st of October, until Halloween. So from the 10th of October until the 30th, things are, with your family are going to get super intense. You've got Mercury, uh, the Moon, Venus and Jupiter sitting there and they oppose Uranus in the 10th. So a lot of heavy emotional stuff is going to be going on in your family. It doesn't neg necessarily mean it's negative, but because it's Venus retrograde, don't take it too seriously. It's most likely to be an illusion and it's most likely to be something that at the end of your November, you'll be like, what was I thinking? That wasn't even important. So just easy does it, especially when it comes to relationships this month, Leo. Okay. So from the 10th until the 14th, you're going to have the desire to uh, explore and to travel and and to meet new people and to um, experience new feelings. So you're at risk of falling into the trap of, oh my God, you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I just want to touch you and look into your eyes and fall in love with you and sink into those big, you're really at risk of being enchanted and and mesmerized by this person. Now I'm being told, I have to say, I'm being told that there are exceptions to the rule. Some people meet during a Venus retrograde and they go on to have to, to have 50 year marriages. You know, especially like for instance, I have Mars in Cancer in my chart and it's very difficult for me to take action for myself without feeling guilty. I should rather be doing it for other people. This summer when Mars was retrograde, I was able to move house. So it affects people differently. So if you're usually really needy and clingy in relationships with a Venus in retrograde, you may love differently and you may find that you're totally free in this relationship. And if that kind of thing happens, then trust your gut always. Don't say, well, the astrology says that Venus is retrograde from the 5th to the 16th of November. Who cares? If you're happy, and by the end of November, if he doesn't turn out to be a complete fraud, then good for you. Out of all of the signs, no one told me that it might turn out well for them. So you, Leo, are the ones who are most blessed in the sense that you're protected somewhat from this Venus retrograde. Because it sits in your fourth house of your roots and you know what you're doing there. From the 15th of October until the end of October, the sun in Libra in your third house of communication, making you super charming, articulate, beautiful, elegant all month. And the way you speak is just like honey oozing out of your mouth. That opposes Uranus in your 10th. So why not combine that? Because the transiting midheaven is also in your third. Any Leos who want to get acting work, who want to get voiceover work, who want to get work as a fashion designer, a jewelry designer, a florist, a pottery maker, cosmetician, hairdresser. Uh, you're not starting a new business. You're learning the skills to learn a bit, a new difference. That's a very pedantic, but fundamental difference because Venus is in retrograde. And if you start a hair salon now, it's bad. But if you learn how to do people's hair, and then you start your business in December, that would be good. So, yes, use the energy to look at what you want to do with your career in future, what it is you love, how you can add beauty and value to the world, and consider that from the 15th to the 30th, enroll in classes if you decide, make plans, go for it, you're not starting the business, you're educating yourself and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and even Venus in retrograde can't harm you there. Now the next couple of days are focused on other people and other relationships until the 23rd. So there's going to be uh, a lot of stuff going on in terms of work, really busy. If you're retired, you may have people coming around, uh, people visiting from out of, out of the country. Uh, relationships demanding, lots of people 
wanting things from you, you also are wanting to take care of other people and help people to be of service, to take the initiative, to help others move maybe, to help them take the initiative on something. You're someone's coach and pep talk here from the 15th to the 23rd. That's a good way. You're amazing because you're getting out of yourself and that's the best way to deal with this Venus in retrograde energy. Leo's are smart. 24th of October, we have the full moon in Taurus. Remember, I'll make two separate videos on this to go into more detail. Important thing to know, it's in your 10th house of career. So the full moon is when the moon sheds all its energy and it showers you with Taurus, which is the energy of money. And that is uh, in direct opposition to all that Scorpio energy in your fourth and it's sitting right on top of Uranus. So this is the peak where you will get an idea of this is the job I'm supposed to do to make money and that's what I care about and that is going to enable me to do a job that is really an extension of what I love rather than doing this factory job that I hate. So this full moon for you is life changing. Yep, the moon stays in Taurus for the next two days, 25th and 26th, so it stays there in your 10th house and by the 27th, when the moon is in Gemini, in your 11th, you'll be able to articulate, this is what I'm going to do work-wise in future. You'll know. 28th of October, the clocks go back in the UK to Greenwich Mean Time, 4th of November if you're in the States. But the moon is in Gemini and in Cancer in your 12th house until the end of the month. So you end the month really nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, thinking about what you're going to do in future. On Halloween, the moon goes into your sign of Leo. And Mercury, the communication planet, also leaves that intensity of the family and all this stuff that's going on there. And it moves into your fifth house of fun. So let your hair down on, on Halloween, please. Get a costume, do something, throw a party. You've really, really worked hard this month. Reward yourself at the end of um, October. The moon is in Leo. So being in the spotlight, putting on a silly costume is going to put a smile on your face and on everyone else's face. And that is required during a Venus retrograde. So you can be our mascot. You can help us uh, chin up onwards and upwards and give us the hope and courage we need to go on. So I hope you have a fabulous month. If you would like a private reading with me, get in touch via my website. It's gregorystott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I do these monthly horoscopes, weeklies, dailies, and I will speak to you next month.